there's a lot of teams in the state wish they could win a region title and we got to do it again. So that was that was probably the highlight of last season. Mumford returns in 2022 as back-to-back -back region champions. They lost key players like running back Ovik White and defensive back Icarius Hodgen, but they returned quarterback Jordan Bell. He'll have new weapons in running back Braxton Sharp and wide receiver Isaiah Cobbs. Speed will be a strength of the Cougars. Some explosive guys come back and then some key transfers. Uh, you got to probably talk about Isaiah Cobbs, super explosive wide receiver. I mean, we're going to try to get him the ball as much as possible. Uh, Braxton Sharp also transferred in and, you know, super explosive guy, finished third in 100 meters in uh, Class 3A at the state track meet. I think he's the fastest guy in 3A in track. Jordan Bell, exceptional kid, uh, just a, a great kid to be around. He's got a couple of Division One offers, um, works really hard, has really improved his throwing. I mean, he can run. He's the anchor leg of our 4 by one that finished runner-up state track meet. Blocking for Bell and the skill guys, an experienced offensive line. The four out of five returning starters on the offensive line, you know, we're going to lean heavy on those guys, uh, look to them for, for leadership. Zach Smith, Ethan Gullett, uh, those guys, Jeremiah Sullins, they're all returning starters. We're going to lean heavy on, on those guys. But at the same time, you know, we got we got to get those skill guys the ball out in space and, and let them let them do their thing. The Cougars could have the talent to make it three straight region titles, and they could find some extra motivation from an early preseason poll that's not giving them much of a chance. Uh, I've seen some predictions. You know, there's there's some people expect this to win every game, and then uh, uh, some people, you know, don't expect this to be that good. A, a kid showed me a. Uh, Something yesterday, we're predicted to finish six and four and third in the region. And I was like, wow, but then again, we haven't won a game this year yet. So, you know, it, it, it's hard to say.